All right, now here's our equation. Okay, this is an equation for an arithmetic sequence. A sub n, what that n means, the n means the number of terms. Okay, so if we wanted the 10th term, we'd plug in a 10 for n. If we wanted the 20th term, we'd plug in a 20 for n. A sub 1, what this means right here, that means our first term. Okay, A sub 1 is our first term of any sequence. Again, n is the number of terms. And d, this is where that common difference comes into play. Okay, so we look for our common difference. Now, I think it's a little easier if we rewrite this. So in your notes, let's rewrite this formula. We're going to keep the a sub n the same. I want to rearrange it a little bit. I want to put the common difference out front. I want to put the number of terms, minus 1. And then on the end, I want to add the first term. Okay, and when we do these examples, we'll kind of see why this is a little easier. We're able to distribute this d forwards instead of backwards. Um, so either way works. I prefer this formula right here. Okay, so let's use this formula a little bit. So we need two things here. We need to write an equation for the nth term. Okay, nth means we don't know how many terms. It, it can be a variable. We can plug any number in for n. So that's in general um, an equation for this sequence. And then we need to find a sub 25, which means the 25th term in that sequence. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our general equation. So we don't know what n is, so we're going to leave it as a sub n. Now, using our new um, equation, we move the common difference out front. If we look at our sequence here, from 4 to 5, we add 1. From 5 to 6, we add 1. From 6 to 7, we add 1. So our common difference, our d, is 1. Okay, so that 1's going to go out front. Parenthesis, n, again, we don't know what n is. We're going to leave it as n. n, and then always minus 1 in that formula, plus our first term. Now, right here, our first term in the sequence is 4. So we're going to add 4. That's our a sub 1. Okay, so just a little reminder, that formula we're using a sub n is equal to our difference times n minus 1 plus a sub 1. Okay, that a sub 1 is 4. That's our first term. Now, we're not quite done. Let's distribute this 1 through. Okay, so distribute. We have a sub n now is equal to 1 times n is n minus 1 times 1 is 1, plus 4, combine like terms, we're going to get in the end a sub n is equal to n, negative 1 plus a positive 4 is a positive 3. This is our general equation for that arithmetic sequence. a sub n equals n plus 3. Now the second thing they want us to find is a sub 25, so we need to plug in 25 for n. They want us to find the 25th term of that sequence. So what we have now is a instead of n we have 25, that means the 25th term of the sequence and plug 25 in right here for n in our equation. So 25 plus 3. So we find that the 25th term in this sequence is going to be 28. Okay. Now let's erase this. Let's do the second example here real quick. Same exact process. Okay. Same exact formula here. So we need to figure out what our common difference is. Notice we add 8, we add 8, and we add 8 each time. Okay, so our d, our common difference is 8. So our general equation, a sub n, is equal to 8, our common difference. And we don't know what n is, minus 1 plus our first term, which is 8. Okay, then we distribute. So we have a sub n is equal to 8n minus 8 plus 8. Minus 8 plus 8, that just equals 0. So what we're left with is a sub n is equal to 8n. Now, again, we want the 25th term, so let's substitute 25 in. a sub 25 is equal to 8 times 25. Well, 8 times 25, if we think about 8 quarters, we're left with $2. So we know a sub 25 is equal to 200. Okay, there's our two answers. Here's our general, and there's our 25th term.